of crazy hairstyles and overly ridiculous weapons, it's time for the Anime Mavericks Podcast. And now, here they are, your Anime Mavericks. Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Mavericks Podcast, the official anime podcast of RVT. We want to thank you guys once again for joining us here this week on The Shades. I'm Yummy Angie. And I'm Mike Shell. We of course are your Anime Mavericks and we're here to bring you all the anime news, reviews, and interviews that you crave. So Mavericks, how are we doing this week? Pretty good. It's slow, it's slow at work email-wise. So we had the U.S. phones open, and it was also quiet, so we were doing trivia at one point. (laughs) I did very good. (laughs) Uh. Yes, Karen has been a while. We had a crazy couple of weeks these last couple of weeks, but we're back! We're back, bitches! (laughs) Actually, hold it. That too. (laughs) Actually, we got the perfect button for this. I, I gotta hit this real quick. Uh, where is it? I'm back, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how you doing, Mike? I'm doing good, and with some good news as well. Uh, as I mentioned before, job is changing up. I'm moving up in the world, and I have my new schedule. Ah, so it, but, even I haven't heard about that. I, I knew you had the promotion coming, but I did not know the schedule. So what do we got? Sunday through uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. Woo! So nothing changes on our end. Nothing changes on this end. And you get two days off in a row. Awesome. Uh, I've been getting two. I've been getting three days off for for, for a while, but uh, now, but with two days in a row. But now it's just down to two. Oh. Eh. Oh, and I just realized there's a part of a pot I need to turn off. Whoops! I forgot I left that on from uh, earlier this week. And turn those off for now. That's good. All right. And of course, <laughs> yeah, I gave fan 420. Yeah, I hope you guys put your uh, your your brownies and your pipes down because uh, yeah, 420. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> As for myself, I'm a little tired. We were over at my uh, my little brother and sister's birthday party today, and I do mean little. They're like one's eleven, one's the other six. <laughs> so, do not ask how that happens. But I did have a little bit of fun of that. Is uh, apparently one of the member, one of the people that was there, actually recognized me from my videos. Wow! <laughs> it was like, yeah, I was just telling him I, you know, it, I found out, I quickly found out he was an anime fan, so we were talking it up, and I mentioned that I do reviews online and. It eventually came out that he like he was like oh yeah I think I've seen your stuff show him one of my pitch uh, show him one of my videos oh yeah yeah definitely I've seen that what <laughs> what my oh, wow. <laughs> yeah was not prepared for that <laughs> made made that uh yeah you know, having to do with that my family a little bit easier that day I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, pretty, uh, other than that, pretty normal, uh, pretty interesting week for us. I mean, especially about what happened earlier this week, but we won't get into that again. We've dealt with it. We've already dealt with it, but the rest of this week has been pretty good. Been fun. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Exactly, Care. Exactly. Anyway, let's get to tonight. On tonight's show, it's Angie's pick this week, and, uh, given one of our news stories this week, it's gonna be very apropos. In fact, she also has the very story that's going to tie into our anime this week. I'm sure you didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> I might have. I, I, I guess I'll have to leave, leave a Devil May Cry baby to some other time. <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> we will get to it. We will get to it. And later on tonight on ANTV, we got ourselves a very fun and very odd AMV. Something a little goofy, I think, but not so much... You'll understand when we get there. But first, it's time for everyone's favorite topic. It's the anime news of the week. And starting us off, as always, is our anime informer, Yami Anji. What do you got for us this week? Well, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I have some sad news. uh, Because on uh, April 11th, uh, the manga creator Monkey Punch 
best known for the Lupin uh, the Third series, uh, passed away um, due to uh, he had mon- mon- uh, pneumonia. I cannot pronounce words today, but mon- pneumonia, <laughs> pneumonia, pneumonia, <laughs> and he was uh, at the age of eighty-one. Aww. Yeah, as we do know, in the you know in the when did it start? You know, in you know in the sixties and seventies, he did. He was the creator of the the uh, Lupin the Third uh, manga series, which you know, which is about the grandson of the famous French thief, uh, which has basically been a. It's basically at this point, it's sort of an anime staple for TMS because it's continually being produced to this, you know. To this day, sporting with it's like we have five different anime sp- series, and for a while, like basically year multiple yearly specials and crossovers and everything. So he's definitely made his mark on anime and everything, and he will be missed. <laughs> yes, indeed. And as uh, voice puts in the ch- in the chat, now he'll be stealing in heaven. <laughs> yeah. He can hang out with a few of he can hang out with 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 the cast members that have passed away. You know, as as the yeah, I'm sure he was greeted by the original voice actors of uh, of Lupin and uh, and Zenigata. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, because they're up there too. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, this is a legend, ladies and gentlemen, and he will be missed. I mean, he's provided us years of years of great material. I care. Mm-hmm. How can we forget? There's been so goddamn many. <laughs> but indeed, again, yeah, Monkey Punch, uh, Kazuhiko Kato. You'll be missed, my friend. But that being said, I, 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 I this was hard for me this week to pick out a uh, new story, mainly because I didn't want this entire show to be negative. And because, unfortunately, my story is going to be negative, and I'm sure most of you probably already know in what way, but we won't get to that when we get to that. But I do have at least, we do have at least one positive story to discuss. Mike Shell, what do you got for us this week? Absolutely. You don't have to go hunting through the city, or and there's no panic at the disco, because Disco Tech has licensed the entire City Hunter anime franchise, including the latest film, City Hunter, Sinjuku Private Eye Films. Yes, Sunrise has announced the, the panel on uh, back on back on Friday that the Discotech Media has licensed the original City Hunter anime projects, and uh, I do mean projects, as, as, as also the recent City Hunter, Sinjuku Private Eye anime film. So that's 51 episodes of City Hunter, 63 episodes of City Hunter 2, Six, 26 episodes of City Hunter 3 and, ni- and 91, plus the numerous uh, City Hunter films as well, plus the uh, latest film that's come out also. Yes, so, yes. That's a lot. Yeah. Yep. That's kind of cool. I've kind of always wanted to check out this series. Um... Because it's been referenced a lot. Um, um, if I, I think the main character, it's the voice. The voice actor is the same guy who I think it's the same voice act. It's, it's, it's the same say who voices Kenshiro, and then it got hilariously later in the day, later in the time he was like the original uh, Kogoro on a uh, anime on a uh, Detective Conan. <laughs> so it's an interesting range. So it's like I've always wanted to check this out because it's supposed to be good. <laughs> It's a classic, oh, se- again, cl- yeah, classic series, and and good timing on this I- as well because, as you know, the lead character of City Hunter, uh, uh, Rio uh, Sebia or Seba, is actually in the up uh, the recently released Jump Force game, which quite a surprise of a choice for that one. Uh, it is quite a quite a usual uh, pick for a uh, for a game like that, but uh, good good to see him in there. And of course, uh, those don't know the original manga follow Rio Sabia, the sniper and private eye, a sweeper as they call him, based in Ch- in, Shijo- in Tokyo Shinjoku Ward, with uh, unrivaled marksmanship, and of course, his over top obsession with the opposite sex, so serving as a bodyguard and uh, other duties for his clients. <laughs> it was the it, it was the times. <laughs> yes, this is definitely that's what a... you got out of objective. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the... This was this was originally produced back in 1985. This was only produced the same year I was born. If that tells you anything about how the times were back then. And of course, ADV film the released most of these uh, animated projects in, in North America originally. 
And of course, uh, if you didn't know, back in '93, Jackie Chan starred in a in a Hong Kong live action version that was loosely based upon the original manga as well. So there's a uh, so so there have been live action adaptations. French one, uh, yeah, there's... just opened up in back in in France in on, in February. I was gonna bring that up actually. Yeah, there's the one that just recently released in France, which actually looks you know. Like just looking at the posters looks pretty accurate to the characters, so it should be interesting to see how that works out. Yep. Uh, but again, I say it's good to see that uh, City Hunters getting some some much much new love uh, needed to it to that series. Indeed, indeed. indeed. Unfortunately, it's now. This time... could must have a. I'm oh, sorry. No, 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 no this could take must have a master list of things that they're going to get around to doing because <laughs> it's always because. I was just lamenting this wasn't, you know, you can't watch this anymore. I'm like, man, Disco Tech really does ha must have a master list. It must be paying attention. <laughs> Indeed. But as Kira brings out, it is time for me to bring the room back down, and it's time for me to address the elephant in the room. Uh, here we go again, folks. Because, yes, I have an update on the current situation involving Vic Mignogna. Oh, uh, yes, we are back to this again. I was hoping we would leave it at this, but unfortunately, nope, an update has come up. As Vic Mignogna has followed through with the promise that he made, ladies and gentlemen, Vic Mignogna has filed a lawsuit against Funimation, as well as voice actresses Jamie Markey and Monica Real, as well as Monica Real's fiancé, Ron Toy. It is official, folks. This is going to court. And yeah, he is uh, suing for defamation, interference in existing contracts, and prospective prison relations, as well as civil conspiracy over the defendant's Twitter posts, as well as Funimation's investigation against Minyana for alleged sexual harassment. And he is seeking monetary relief of over $1 million in part to Funimation no longer contracting him for future productions as well as conventions canceling his appearances. And they are also seeking judgment against the defendants for actual consequential and punitive damages according to the claims and amounts to be determined on final hearing, pre- and post-judgment interest at the highest rate permitted by law and cost of court. In addition to such other and further relief to which he may be justly or equitably entitled to, as well as general relief. So he is going in big with this one, folks. Courtesy of the help of his lawyer, who I'm sure you guys have probably, if, if you've been following this situation, have probably seen his name pop up. He's being represented by Ty Beard of Beard Harris Bullock Hughes in Tex in Tyler, Texas. There's a lot going on with the story. I won't go and read the whole article here on ANN. You can look it up yourself. But this is officially happening. Uh, this is, you know, I, I should be more. Yeah, I may sound frustrated, but in truth be told, I'm just more ready for this to be done. Because honestly, I'm not scared about what's going to happen in this lawsuit. I'm not going to say why. I'm not going to say how. But let's just say I we've been following the situation very closely. And I get the feeling that they don't realize what they've done in this situation. And it's going to bite them in the ass. I'm, again, not going to say how. And I'm sure they probably already know a few things. But... This situation is still ongoing, and we will have to keep an eye on this. I will try my damnedest not to make this too regular of a thing, but while this lawsuit is happening, we will have to keep an eye on it. Uh, but I do thank you guys for at least putting up with this for as long as you have. I know a lot of you guys are even more sick of it than I am, but as long as this is actually happening in court, we have to keep an eye on it. Because a lawsuit of this magnitude, I mean, a million dollars just just for the initial damages, not to mention punitive and relief damages, is going to be, if they win, it's going to be massive. But that's a big if, because here's the thing. We're talking about defamation. For a public figure, a claim like this, a, a lawsuit like this is very difficult 
And I honestly wonder if he even has a chance to prove this. But again, we'll see. But with that, that is the anime news of this week. So let's get off that topic. Let's not bring that up any further than we have to. And let's get to the anime of choice this week. Let me get the link prepped here. Because as I noted earlier, our anime this week, it's Yami Anji's pick. And I, I normally give her, I normally make fun of her being the old school anime girl, the, lo- the one that loves the old school shit. But given the news this week, I think there was no other choice that could be made. I think if I were the one picking this week, I would have picked this. Just because of that story. Because yes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a look at Lupin the Third, More specifically, part five of Lupin the Third, And I'll be posting a link here into the chat. I think I think it only makes sense that we deal with Lupin and, and have a little bit of a send off to uh, to this legendary creator. Give him a farewell viewing of one of his series. We have done a previous Lupin the Third, but we have not done Part Five. I believe it. Was, which one would we do last time? We might have last time. I think we. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I know we've watched three. Uh, I think we've watched three. I think we've watched two. Or, or no, I think we've only ever watched ones. part three. I think we watched part three, oh. and that was it. But I don't think we watched anything. We've only ever done one Lupin series. Okay, I... I thought we had done more, or I would have gotten sued. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's all on your way of more to pull. <laughs> I know at one point it was like, okay, we're going to watch this. They're like, eh. It's Jet. <laughs> I think yeah. that was part four. So no, we never no. went back. Yeah, no, we, we watched part three. I actually just looked up my previous view, viewed list and we watched part three in the past. But this is part five that we're looking at here tonight. So this is a different season, different, uh, a lot of differences Setting. in this one. So we're still going in kind of okay. fresh on this one, folks. I'll have to, I'll have to pick uh, part four for another day because it's a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty of shows to carry us in the meantime. We've got time to get to it. I know. I was just look. It's like I was looking. It's like oh, I got it. It's like oh, we got to got to do some loop on. <laughs> Again, I don't blame you in this particular yeah. case. I think there would be no better time to do loop on, given the loss of our of its original creator. So that being said, let us get into this. I uh, believe you guys have your episodes loaded up and ready to go. Ready here. Yep. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, let us do this. Lupin the Third, Part Five, Episode One: The Girl in the Twin Towers. In three, two, one, play. Well, this is not something you would expect from a Lupin series. We got a internet access here. <laughs> Bio. <laughs> For those of you who are using this series season as a jumping on point. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Name the special. Ooh, loving the uh, remix of the intro here. Oh, yeah, they've been going with the uh, like set in specific countries for the last two. So this one's a little bit. This one's supposed to be in France because the previous one was in Italy. <laughs> it is neat. Yeah, you definitely get the France vibe from this. Yeah. Said in France, so will so will Renegade finally get the help he needs from uh, Inspector Clouseau? Ah! <laughs> Guess that joke was inevitable. And they even do a variation on the the spy gag. 
<laughs> There's never not going to be a bit of a perv. <laughs> Title card. <laughs> mm. Tell uh, Europe there's soccer on. Ah, there's our man. <laughs> eh, who could that be? <laughs> Clearly they're undercover. <laughs> You've got mail. Wait, what? Looks like somebody's trying to learn how to use the uh the dark net. He just happened to have a drug scanning thing in his <laughs> Wanna scan if your uh, drugs are clean? There's an app for that. And he burned the omelet. Bravo. <laughs> So it's the Amazon of the Black Dead. Indeed. Also, drugs on a four twenty. <laughs> on four twenty, this this could not have been more perfect. I forgot about <laughs> that part. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I started watching this. I'm telling you, still, it's funny as hell. I love it. Uh, it's a digital keeper. Too bad nobody told them that the, all their uh, all their cash is in bitcoins. Then <laughs> <laughs> you just sell the bitcoins. Ah, uh, no one thought that was in bad taste, France. Really. How the hell are they going to pull this off? You can just walk right into a high security facility <laughs> like this. I'm sleeping. I mean, seriously, these two are not suspicious at all. No, not at all. <laughs> ah, liquid, a super-powered liquid cooling system. I'm sure this makes all the uh, tech geeks happy in their head place. <laughs> well, at least he knows to turn the irrigation system off this time before trying to swim through it.
Oh, 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 oh. What is that shit? Why is G not having this shit? <laughs> That's stuff that was in his pockets. <laughs> and there goes everything. Oh, dear God. I think I know what's coming next. Oh, good. He's got a dive suit on. <laughs> I, I was worried there. His underwear. <laughs> it's half expected oh, better work. boxers. I was expecting worse, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's creepy. It looks like we're walking onto the set of Cowboy Bebop or something. Yeah. <laughs> well. Uh oh. There's a little loop fun at the spire that I don't show. Hmm. This girl looks like she's seen better days. Mm hmm. Mm, that's a sure. <laughs> so he's a girl. Always. <laughs> Alright, let's see how our master thief pulls this one off. Hey, grew up! pronounce it with the I, and it doesn't sound any different on the answering machines. <laughs> Does that make her red? <laughs> All right. Ken, the, 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 the Cowboy Bebop parallels are crazy. Oh. <laughs> you braided him. Oh. <laughs> You've been unhacked. Ooh, they have a SWAT team. I expect a place like this to be uh, have some tight security. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> he grabbed the last bullet. <laughs> he knew about the gun and swiped it when she wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, you sneaky son of a bitch! Hmm. 
Ah. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> sort of a family trait. <laughs> oh, I know what that means. <laughs> I was wondering when he was going to show up. <laughs> and who's this? Who's this douchebag? Uh. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Ah, self-confined, but wanted a reason to leave. <laughs> oh, it's the old school in there, eh, Lupin? Ooh, I think we broke him. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, I love those little cuts. There's going on for you. That's one way to deal with mosquitoes. Jesus. Well, he hasn't had anything to eat in forever. Ah, oh, you're not going to have that kind of time. Ah, oh, and there's the man. Oh, wow, Zeddy Gun has gotten good. <laughs> Maybe wow. not that good. Time to break out the turbo engines!
Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Now the cops really should invest in a dashboard cam if they're going to do filming like that. Don't think it help. <laughs> Only Lupin would be crazy enough to drive down a staircase like that. <laughs> Welcome back, Angie. Oh, I'm not quite back back. Um, this is me on the phone. <laughs> ah. What's going on? Aww, you almost felt bad for him. Um, yeah, holy shit, everyone's pointing cameras at you. Well, that's not suspicious at all. Aha! Oh. Ah, there you are, Fujiko. Kind of hard to hide when everyone's looking for you. Uh, did Lupin just pull a John Wick? I think so. And of course, you can't have a Lupin series without Fujiko uh, being seductive at the end. Always being seductive. So. <laughs> I did. And I can already hear the loop hat jokes flying from our chat. And we'll pause it there since that's just the upcoming episode. Okay! So let's touch this thing. Woo! They did not fuck around with this first episode, did they? No, they did not. <laughs> nope. 
remember it from last time since unfortunately my in my computer has decided to utterly not connect to the internet <laughs> it wasn't just a f <sighs> it's frozen up on me but i've never had this before <laughs> i can't blame you on that one that being said let's talk about what we just saw here so obviously with the series going on as long as i had it had to reach the modern age eventually and boy are they making it work yeah, they definitely decided to do. I mean, it's always sort of set in whatever period they're making it. It's just that everyone always, Lupin always looks like he's dressed from the 70s. And it's sort of the weird charm. But it is kind of fun to see him. It's like, okay, I'm going to have a more high tech monocle and, you know, do more hacky stuff and stuff. So that's it. And, and then to turn around and have that technology turned on him, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to, we're gonna, these guys are going to make a game where we have to find Lupin everywhere. So now everyone's like, Find the Lupin! Find the Lupin! That is genius, too. And it really, and it put, it's gonna make him really put himself on his toes, because, you know, back in the old days, they didn't have this kind of stuff. He could have easily outrun, uh, outsmarted the cops, but now, he's the one who, he's gonna have to think one step ahead of the entire world. And not just Zenigata. Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah. Good luck! And <laughs> it's like, challenge accepted. And don't think the skies will help because they already have technology in place to work around that. Yeah, they they said facial recognition or disguise recognition software. So he's gonna have to be pretty ingenious with how he hides. And that goes double for both uh, for both uh, Goemon and. and uh, uh, Fuck, I forgot his name Jigen. Jigen, thank you, Jigen. God, I can't remember names to save my ass. But yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be even harder for for going on and Jigen, and and if <laughs> Fujiko gets involved, she's gonna get dragged into this too. Though as voice points out, they've got an X factor in this play because now they've got Ami. How does she fit into this? That is a good question here, but uh, like I said since they are coming into the future technologies, yeah, might as well have a uh, back door to everything. Yeah. This is interesting. Now, I would normally go into the final rating slash would we watch more of this, but I think most of us already know the answer to that, mainly because this is a classic series going on in the... So I'm going to say this, does, I'm going to rechange the question. I'm going to rephrase the question for this one. Does this live up? Does this first episode feel like a good fuck continuation of the loop on franchise? Angie, I already know what your answer is going to be. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I think it's, I think they found a good, yeah, they definitely, you know, started you off with a, a good spin. <laughs> Mike, what about you? Oh yeah, definitely. Just, just, just live up to the Lupin name. Yeah, wholeheartedly. Like right out the gate, I'm hooked. I want to see where this goes because you know they're taking what is already established and what is well known about Lupin the Third and putting it in the modern era with some interesting twists and right out the gate, mixing old school with new school. I mean, the car chase scene immediately felt like an old school Lupin episode, yet mixed in with all the high tech stuff. Very good way to make and balance out old and new. So I'm I want to see more of this. Absolutely. Uh, let us know what you think in the chat, folks. Would do you think this lives up to the Lupin franchise and is a good continuation worth watching, or do you think they finally run out of steam? Or well, I guess in Lupin's case, gas. <laughs> That being said, that is Angie's pick for this week, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any suggestions for anime you'd like for us to take a look at in the future, link is down in the description below, or you can hit exclamation point AMP in the Twitch chat to check, uh, pull up the link as well. Remember the rules, only official websites or YouTube uh, channels will be accepted. No straight comedy, shoujo, or drama anime. Those are very hard for us to riff. 10 to 30 minute episodes only, first episodes only, unless you have a damn good reason otherwise. And make sure you provide a link along with the series title on the off chance your link goes dead. Why is that a Kirby? Anyway, 
With that said, it's time for us to change channels and see what's happening over on AMTV! And tonight we're gonna get a little silly. Not a little, a little out there. We're gonna step outside our normal zone here. This is an anime, this is an AMV, but not what you would expect. I'll be straight honest, this is not one you will expect. But when I saw this, I, I knew this had to be shown. I mean, again, we had some pretty downer shit on the news today, so I needed something that was gonna lift their spirits. And I think this one's gonna do the trick. So check out what we've got for you here tonight on AMTV. voice versus all says it again again something to go along with getting high today what you doing kirby by near photosan kirby right back to gotcha okay hoshino kirby is the anime of choice for long that kirby by aesop rock is the song of choice thank you to slick rick for your suggestion and an interesting one at that i saw this on the yes, list yes it is. <laughs> yeah i saw that i'm like that's just too good for me not to show. <laughs> the editing's really good, admittedly. <laughs> Sides, not one of our usual suggestions, so a good one from the, from someone else. I will take it. I will definitely take it. Speaking of which, if you guys have any suggestions for AMVs you'd like for us to showcase, send them uh, down, down in the description below. Another uh, link for you there, or you get an exclamation point AMTV for that suggestion link in the Twitch chat. Remember the rules, only AMVs will be accepted. They must come from their original sources, whether it be the creator's own YouTube page or their page on animemusicvideos.org. Plenty of choice, plenty of anime AMVs out there to pick from, folks. You got no way not to miss them. Uh, you, you can't, ha you, you're gonna find something. You'll find something if you look hard enough. Anyway, and of course, remember to provide all relevant information in your suggestion so that we can keep an eye on it. 
Uh, but with that being said, that is going to do it for us here tonight here on the Anime Maverick Podcast. We hope you guys had a fun time. If you indeed enjoyed tonight's show and you haven't done so already, make sure you give us a follow to keep up with all our streams and more. And if you can, subscribe to get access to our exclusive Switch emotes, our VIP Discord channels, and our loyalty badges. And of course, if you want to know what's happening the rest of this week here at RVTV, hit exclamation point schedule in the chat. So you can see our Google Calendar with all of our upcoming streams and more. The only exception is, is that come Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern, it is the return of the Shades Plays. Where I'll be starting off the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Objection! You know what it is? Yes! Yeah, thanks to Mildred the Monk, I got that game on Steam. And I will be playing that on Monday. And I think you guys are going to enjoy that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but that being said, also don't forget to uh, hit exclamation point merch. Check out our merch store. We got t-shirts, coffee mugs, and more. As easy likes to say, buy the shirt. Uh, game buy the shirt. Buy the shirt. Also, game pad. I don't know. I have to check on that. We'll have to see. But with that being said, in the meantime, we want to thank you guys for joining us as always here on it on RVTV. We are your Anime Mavericks, and we will continue to bring you all the anime news, reviews, and interviews that you crave. I'm The Shades. I'm Yummy. And I'm Mike Shell. And we'll see you guys next time. Rock on! Special thanks to Eric Vaughn for their Patreon donations. Donate today so you can keep these streams going.